So I go accidentally live. pressed live. Yeah, she said go live, it's fine. Um, yeah, we are live, so it's fine. Okay, how many do we have then? 29, but do we need to wait till it's exactly six? Yeah, let, let's do some questions. Let's okay. Some questions. Come here, boys. Oh. Do you have any questions about the meal? I've got my little fryer. For those of you who are watching right now, go ahead, if you have oil, you can have vegetable oil, canola oil, olive, um, peanut, go ahead and get you a large skillet like this. Or I have this deep fryer, so we're doing a lot of things. I'm gonna have this on to work, I have to monitor the temperature. So I'm gonna set this at about 320, I like about 330, I think that's about perfect. Okay, okay. so that's done. Okay, Ryan wants to know the fa your favorite thing you make. I like doing pizza. I was going to say homemade pasta, but pizza. Homemade pasta, homemade pizza. Okay, um, and then... In fact, I have probably 20 dough balls that are frozen that I made last week, so we can get them out anytime time to fall, and then in a couple of hours we can make the pizza. Isaiah <laughs> Enrique wants to know if it's the first time you made this dish. No, this is a... <gasps> Mark's here! Hey, Mark! Mark who? Lowry, oh. the one and only. Hey, Mark. Uh, this is one of my boys' favorites, so I, I make this all the time. So I've got my little basket. Is it almost time to start? I don't, I, this doesn't say what time it is. It says six it's on all the clock. Six oh one. All right. Wait, it's, it's funny. Look, look at mommy's phone. That'll, look, look That'll be the official it's, it's time. The table. It's 5.59. Okay. okay. So in about 30 minutes, I mean, 30 seconds, <laughs> let's start. 30 minutes, if y'all can hang on for 30 more minutes. We'll What's your, that. Margaret Willoughby wants to know your favorite dessert. Tres Leches Cake. Uh, I was going to say that. Oh, there's Marilyn. And Mary I Poppins. Love, I love, Marilyn? Hey, mm -hmm. Marilyn. Uh, I love a great chocolate chip cookie. Mm -hmm. And that, we have I'm a new one. I posted about that. Whose cookie Sweet. is it? And Jojo. Jojo. In fact, I'm wearing my... Oh, you are. Look at you representing. Are these are the ones I posted a picture of. Oh, they're and so good. You don't use white sugar. You use just brown sugar. And they are amazing. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. So, and they refrigerate well. So if you refrigerate them, they can get four or five days easily if they last that long. All right. I think it's six. We should start, shouldn't we? I think you need to tell them the temperature thing again that you just okay, told people. Okay, for those of you that have just joined, go ahead and get you, if you have a fryer like this, great. If not, get you a skillet, 10-inch, 12-inch skillet, okay? Something a little deeper. But okay. we're using the deep fryer. Yeah, we use the deep fryer. Go ahead and get your oil heating right now. Oh, you don't kind of difficult to hear Wes and the other voice is very loud. <laughs> the other Sorry. voice is her? Is, is very loud. Okay, can you hear me now? Can you hear me okay? Thumbs up. Thumbs up, is that good? Uh, Coach Parker. It, uh, okay, I'm here, it's a little behind. Um, so yeah, this delay. Okay, so get your oil heated to about 330 degrees. You can use one of the, those candy thermometers. You can use, I like little gadgets. I have one of these. It's an instrument. Jeff Hooper, Lisa Reese. A little infrared thermometer. So, just get it to where it's starting to ripple a little bit. You'll, you'll be able to adjust it. Okay, so this is my oil. It's heating right now. It's at about 250. So now we gotta prep the chicken. So I've got, these little four liners are great for doing this. So where are you going? I'm gonna set this underneath here so I don't this my board stay stay. You can come over here. Oh. And I'm gonna get a sharp knife. Get my chicken. And one of my pet peeves, boys, what is our one of our pet peeves about chicken when we get at certain places? Ah. What what is some what? Ah. Yeah, a lot of places don't remove. They're still saying really hard to hear, Wes. Hi, y'all. Oh, no, Lily Rand Rundle says that you can not You can be heard, so. Okay, let me see on that case if it's, no, the case is good. Okay. okay. Um, if you have. Oh, uh, Amber, thank you for your, all your work. Thank you, Amber. She's uh, an RN. She's been with patients. Thank you. Thank you for your work. Uh, 
kitchen shears, okay? This little thing right here, a lot of restaurants don't cut this out. This is the tendon of the tenderloin, okay? Cut that out. This will cook, okay? But you can cut that all day long. It will not, it'll still be like a rubber band you're trying to chew on, okay? So do this. They have this little membrane on here. It's kind of gross. But you clip that and just peel it off, okay? Some of you might have chicken breasts. Just make sure all the fat is trimmed off, okay? So look at that, that's all clean. I'm gonna do all of these right now with you since this is a cook along. And once you do this, to me, this is the, the, the most time consuming part of this whole thing. Do you have any questions? Um, we've had some questions go by, but I didn't wanna, oh, Marilyn said hi, Carden. Okay, this video will be available on YouTube, yes. Yes, I will post um, it on my channel. Oh, and while you just reminded me, uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe because I'm going to have a random drawing at the end to those that are subscribed and we will give away some of my hymns CD to several people. Cassia Lovewell, um, he's making panko chicken and couscous. Hi from California. Ricky Lee from West Virginia. We love California. Do you still talk to Guy Penrod? I don't talk to Guy much. The last time I talked to Guy, I think, was at the reunion. That reunion taping that, that's on TV now that people are buying. Well, I don't know if people are buying it, but they're watching uh. it. <laughs> that was the last time I really talked to him. Um, I'm, not, I'm not the best at keeping in touch sometimes. Okay, let's see. But I talked to, uh, talk to Marsh quite a bit, and I talked to Mark Lowry. Uh, who is your vocal inspiration? Uh, Steve Green probably is the highest. I love Lauren L. Harris. Um, Michael English. Uh, let me see who else. Saskatchewan, Canada. John Yoder. Thanks, John. David John says, I think Carden is West Jr. spitting image. <laughs> Do you cook as well as you sing? I'll answer that, Karen uh, Yoder. He's, he absolutely does. Patty okay. Santoro, she just described oh, on Long Island. Island. <laughs> Thanks for curing the extra, oh, cutting the extra fat, Wes. Yeah, don't you hate that when you go, there's a well-known chicken restaurant, I won't name, that we love, Oh, <gasps> uh, Bonnie and Harvey, sorry. We love and adore this chicken place. Hey, Bonnie and Harvey. And uh, my biggest pet peeve is that they don't cut the fat off the chicken. And who wants to eat chicken fat? You want to eat chicken fat, guys? Linda Piper says, hey. Yeah. Hey, Linda. Fran Collins, hey, are you and Marsh planning a singing soon? Not yet, unfortunately, but who knows? Okay, look. Oh, hi from Denmark. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, it went away. It went away. Where'd it go? Okay. Wait, you, I don't know where the thing is. You, you have to. I don't know. There. Sorry, everybody. I'm okay. new at this. Okay, has everybody trimmed their chicken up? Is all the fat off your chicken? People trimming chicken? Uh, yeah, hey, tell me, who, how many are off? actually making this and how many are just watching? Yeah, if you're just watching and no one's making it, that's totally fine. I'm gonna go pretty quickly then, so. All right. <gasps> Nancy, Aunt Nancy. All right, this is what you do. When you, you have to cut these in half. You see how thick these are? You can fry these like this, but they will take forever. And I don't like that big of a piece of tenderloin. So if you go to Cracker Barrel and you order their grilled tenderloins, this is what they do. They cut them in half. So really when you're getting a plate of six tenderloins, you're only getting a plate of three that have been cut in half. See, look. Look how much skinnier that is. Which so now that's means more cook. breading. Yeah, it means more breading. And look, you keep your hand totally straight. Almost kind of arch it like that, okay? And if you have a sharp knife, just very easily run it through there. Sandra Graves is making it. Uncle Danny and Aunt Nancy. Oh, good. So Uncle Danny must have gotten there safely. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, Elaine, uh, uh, Kai Miles is uh, making uh, it tomorrow. Uh, so she's watching it tonight. Okay, so you see what I'm doing? I have one, two, these are three tenderloins right here that I've cut in half. So two times three is six, right, boys? Uh, okay, so I've got another little red tray here. I always have red cutting trays. Uh, whenever I'm prepping food, because red means danger to me. Like chicken. <gasps> Jody raw, says raw hi, Juice. Meat. Hi, Jody. No, Jody's mom. Um, his I cookies are round. He cuts them with biscuit cutters. No, uh, ice cream scoop. Ice cream scoop. Sorry, not biscuit yeah. cutters. Uh, this hand is not <gasps> dirty. Oh. This hand is not dirty. I keep this hand clean. This is what I use for those cookies. Just get in the bowl, scrape it, 
Flop it. And they're always it. perfectly you don't press, round. You don't press the cookies down. Okay, so look, I've got these. I'm almost done with my chicken. I'm gonna do this really quickly so we can scoot, okay? And then I have some little helpers that are gonna help me really, really soon. <laughs> Has everybody seen the guys? Um, well, kinda. Who are you? Uh, I'm Cardinal. How old are you? 11. Seven. And how old? 10. About 10. I'm 14. 14. 14. Okay, so look. Is the pollen bad anywhere else? The pollen's awful the pollen here. The pollen is about to kill us. So if you hear me sniffling or clear my throat, I don't have the coronavirus. Brian, the boys do not choose to sing. They actually can keep pitch, but yes. it's not, um, they, don't, they don't enjoy that, really. Mm -mm. Uh, they all play piano. Um, let's see, who else? Okay, my oil is at 3.30. Is everybody's oil preheating that's cooking with us? We do okay, have look. some cooking. I have all of my chicken cut, okay? I'm gonna put Aunt the knife in the sink. I'm gonna wash my chicken hands, mm -hmm. okay? So, sing your favorite song. He touched me, oh! Lisa oh, Reese so right wants to know how you uh, sanitize your cutting boards. Uh, for those right there, I typically put them in the dishwasher, but I will uh, put them in the sink as soon as I'm done, get super hot water, and let the water run for a minute, and then I will get some um, Dawn and this scrub brush and scrub it like crazy, okay? Then rinse it off, set it to the side, and then I will, when I'm doing the rest of the dishes, when I'm done washing everything else in the sink, I'll put that back in the sink and wash it again with a cloth. Um, I'm not too concerned about getting these super, super clean because uh, I never put fresh meat, I never put cooked meat on these. These are only for raw. So this is gonna be cooked if there were something on there. Um, obviously when you cook it, it's gonna kill it. Okay, look, I've got all my chicken here. What I'm gonna do is get some Salt, you can get table salt. I have kosher salt because I like to do this. And you want to season them really well, okay? You can always season after they're cooked, but it's better if you season pretty liberally with salt. I'm just going to season one side, okay? So I'm seasoning it. What are you saying, Gordon? They're saying I'm too loud. I've got to talk quieter. Oh, Amy said it too. Not you. You have to talk louder, and I've got to talk quieter. I'm talking pretty loudly, but I'll, I'll, I'll speak up. You aren't really mm -hmm. talking that loud. Okay. So I'm salting this chicken really liberally. Wes is a liberal. Get lots. Get lots of money to Okay. Where did you get that salt <laughs> container? The uh, original well, one we got from. I ordered him from Alton Brown's yeah. website. On yeah. he's a cooking guy, but we packed it when we moved seven years ago, and we never have found it. Yeah. Okay, and your little ingredient list is it onion powder. I have onion powder and garlic powder. Okay, so once you get those salt, you want to put a good bit of this on here. Okay, liberal again. Liberally apply the seasoning. Okay, okay. somebody just showed up. And listen, Hi. if y'all if y'all like this, I will end up getting. A little microphone that I can actually wear that you can really hear me, but it being last minute, no, this is I can do. And we're I'll in quarantine. Garlic powder, not garlic salt, garlic powder. Uh -huh. Okay, put a little of that on here, and we're all, we're about done. Okay, I'm gonna put a little pepper. Somebody said why kosher salt? Uh, I like to be able to pinch it and just dash it on there. Um, if you're doing something like a steak. Kosher salt is much better because table salt dissolves way more quickly, so you don't get a good a good crust on it. Okay, does that make sense? So the kosher salt makes it more of a crust. Okay, this is all seasoned. Now I'm gonna get get you a bowl, a big bowl. I just have a gallon baggie. Okay, I'm gonna get some regular flour, just some all-purpose flour. Thank you, Isaiah. He said he can hear us both perfectly, so he's not complaining about my yelling. Thank you, Isaiah, for not being so critical. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, look, all-purpose flour. I'm not oh. measuring it. I'm getting, I'd say that is about a cup and a half of flour. That's so about all I need. a cup and a half okay? in a gallon baggie. Okay. 
I'm not going to season this because I've already seasoned the chicken. So I'm going to get my red tongs. Red oh, means, yes, red raw. Means raw. Red means red raw. Red means raw. Danger, okay? Danger. I'm going to get all these and throw them in here. And then I'm going to, I can't remember the uh, the lady's name who asked about the sanitizing the boards. But oh, it was Lisa. Lisa. Our neighbor put, Lisa. Our neighbor Lisa? Yeah. Oh. Jeff hey, Lisa. and Lisa. Hey, Jeff and Lisa. Um, so, I'm going to put these in the sink right now. Just let some hot water. Yeah, that wasn't hot. Um, I'll put I this in the dishwasher afterward. David, okay, so John asked about this, this couscous. We're coming to it this soon. Is Israeli. But that is not Costco. You can get it at Costco, but that is just you can from get it Walmart. At Walmart. That you can get it size. at Publix. Okay. So now I'm going to, again, I try to be very careful with this. I don't want to, I'm going to set on the edge so this, this part is not touching anything. Once you get your flour in the baggie or the bowl, you shake it around. That is good, babe. Thank you. And also, I kind of press it in, okay? Really press it in there. Okay, Cardi, can you grab me that bowl behind mommy, please? Okay, thank you. Cardi, can you get that carton of eggs? We went out today, and this lady has how many chickens? She had 25, and I okay. think somebody just gave her 75. Look at those pretty eggs. But it's there was absolutely no social, we didn't even yeah. see a human. So, two eggs, okay? Two eggs. Crack them in here, okay? Ooh, look how look how yellow that yolk is. They were laid this morning. Wow. Well, so cool. Wash my hands again. All right. Got the eggs in there. Carden, can you put those back, please, buddy? I'm going to get some milk. People are giving me a hard time about the expiration date on this milk. Typically, expiration date on milk, we can get about four or five days after the date. So... I never do the smell it in there because you get all that dried milk and that's what you smell. Pour it in a in a cup, okay? And then make sure it's good. It's good. How much are you pouring in there? I do about 12 to 16 ounces, okay? Okay, so 12 to 16 ounces and two eggs so far. Yeah, okay. And will we have, can we, um, Maybe print this on YouTube. Like, can we yes, put those? Yes, after the video is done, I can show you like all the ingredient list down, how much to do. I'm gonna get a little. Yes. Whisk. So don't worry about writing it down right now. Whisk the egg and the milk together. This is called a milk wash. Okay? A milk wash. Egg wash. <gasps> Josh said hi, Juice. Hi, Joshy. Josh and Jody, my two best buddies in college. Okay. Bless you. Bless you, Hudson. I told you problem with that. Oh, dear. I got an egg on the floor. At least it's okay. not on your face. You have your <laughs> the chicken and the flour. You got this. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take this out of here, dip it in the egg wash, and then we're gonna get another bag right here. Or a bowl. Okay. Oh! Just drop the chicken. Uh oh. Off. Can you pick this up by the the stainless handle bag? I want you to check that in here. And I'm gonna put this in okay, here. This no. is the. Let's show the can. These are the panko. You can get these anywhere. Okay, so these are four C. And don't they? They have flavored panko, right? Yeah, you, you can get seasoned panko if you want. Um, so he pour. You pull that. Pour that whole I'll, can. I pour the whole thing. I okay. have another can in there that I might end up using. So I have a panko in here. So watch. Watch what I do. Watch what we do. Why you ask? I do this. You have to get the chicken dry first, okay? A lot, of, a lot of people don't tell you. They say, get the raw chicken, dip it in egg, and then panko. No, because the, the panko will fall off if you don't do that. So if you have them dry in the flour, that gives the egg and the milk something to stick to. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's like a so, primer. It's like a primer. <laughs> You're priming your walls before you, before you paint them. Let's see how the chicken's not broken apart, but it's kind of craggly looking. Craggly? Yeah, you see that? It's kind of craggly. Yeah. I didn't know what craggly was yeah. a word. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put every bit of this chicken in this wash right now, okay? Shake a lot of the excess flour off. Do you have any more questions while I'm doing this? This is not uh, What does couscous taste like? Couscous, 
Uh, boys, can you tell them what couscous um, is? It tastes, tastes like, like, like just little noodles. It tastes like noodle balls. It tastes like noodle balls. Like yes. noodle noodle balls. That's a great. But they're creamy. Yes. They're creamy. Creamy noodle balls. It, that's, that is um, really good. Couscous is similar to pasta. Gracie Kincaid would like you to say hello. Hey, Gracie, how are you? Trist. Tristine Duggar said red is her favorite color, and she would like you to say her name also. Hey, tr tr Tristine. Tristine, hello, Which Tristine. is a beautiful name. It is a beautiful name. Okay, look, I've almost got all my chicken in here. I'm about to put it in the, in the pianco. Where did you get that stirring utensil, and what is it called? Uh, that's, that's just a, I can't remember what I didn't see what you used. Yeah, it's uh, a whisk that doesn't have the. It looks like uh, it looks like you got a whisk and you got something you cut. You I'm gonna show it the... to you again, Shirley. It's down there. Uh, I bet I bet old Amazon could hook you up. Yeah, I don't uh, know if you'll get it anytime just, soon. Just put whisk in Amazon, and you should get all different types. There's a balloon whisk. There's a standard whisk. Um, I can't remember what that one's called, but I like that one. Okay, I think I've got enough. I'm gonna, my hands are gonna get gross anyway, so I'm just gonna check to see if I have any more chicken. These are always fun to get these little pieces right oh, there. Oh, and they Those taste so fun. good, the little pieces. Okay, boys, can one of you throw that in the... Uh, is no, a new I'll cookbook right in the near future, please say yes. The quarantine yes. is helping that come along now real quickly. I've developed a few new, <gasps> uh, oh, several, several new things. Several new things while I've been in quarantine. Shirley Hudson found one for you. Okay, guys, you about ready to help? Ball whisk. Ball, ball whisk. It's one of the first first ball things. Whisk. Good job, Hudson. Yeah. Here's my okay. little frying basket. You don't want to overcrowd the pan, okay? If you're cooking with the pan, if you have uh, tongs, if you have a slotted spoon, make sure you're moving the chicken around because what happens is it sticks to the bottom of the pan, making you get little burn marks, okay? What I love about this fryer is that it, just, it never touches the bottom. It stays in that basket. So, I've got... Okay, who's going to help fry? Me. All right. They're going to be frying the chicken in a minute by themselves while I do the couscous, okay? So, look, I've just got a big... Oh, oh. dear, that's a mess. Let the excess drip off, okay? I kind of scrape it in the bowl, okay? Thank you, Carden. Okay, I'll put it in here. You're putting that in with the panko. Yeah. And you did that's... maybe three that tenderloins? Probably, yeah, that's probably three or four. I'm going to do the same thing. Again? Because okay. I want to fry about eight of these at once. Six to eight, okay? Uh, if you do too many at once, what happens? The oil drops in temperature. And then what happens is the panko soaks up that oil. And you get, Have you ever had super greasy chicken? Like really greasy uh, chicken fingers or um, like a cutlet? It's because the oil was not hot enough. So I've got a good bit in here. Shake, shake, shake. You ready, buddy? Come on over here, Carden. All right, what I'm going to do, Carden's going to help me fry. Brian, he was 15. I'm going to move this over here. Oh. Karen McBride said hi to everybody. Hey, Karen, this is a safety cord. Any you movement. Just right. If you look at it wrong, this will come detached. Okay, buddy, set that right there. Set it to the side. Now what I'm going to do... I will uh, really sanitize this countertop when I'm done because I um, I don't want to get salmonella or COVID-19 from the chicken. Oh, yes. Do you think chickens? No. I heard, I heard that dogs I don't do think not carry We're that. not talking about COVID-19. Oh, we're not talking about COVID-19? No. How is everybody doing, really, with the, with the quarantine? Everybody's saying, staying at home. Except, except our doctors and nurses and paramedics and so food them. workers. Ugh. Very, very grateful. Very grateful. Okay, y'all. I'm about to put this in. This is such an easy, easy dish. Um, meal, actually, not dish. Um, and we're, I get these chicken tenderloins from Piggly Wiggly, which is really close to us. And they're typically like $2.99 a pound, which is great. A great price they're always that price so i'll buy you know eight ten pounds of chicken and freeze it just because i have these dudes that eat all the time okay car put it in once you get your chicken in there i have a timer in here for three minutes go ahead shake it there you go let it sit i'm gonna put this on here Wait, how long is the timer? three minutes oh, 
Oh, Alexa's the Alexa timer. Alexa does minutes. all of our timers. Great. All right. And so, truckers. You're right, Sandra. While I have that chicken in here, I'm going to get some more raw. Okay. Brian uh, asked how we met. We met in college in Nashville at Trevecca Nazarene University. Are you needing to say something? I'm good. No. Um, I was a... I was starting my junior year and Wes was starting his freshman year and we met before school started. I found out he was a huge vocal band fan, so I knew he was um, from good stock. Does Wes have a tabbouleh recipe? No, I don't think you've ever. I don't. That I'm was never a big tabbouleh fan, but um, I like it. I just never had a desire. You know, I want some tabbouleh, but um, it's very healthy though. Gosh, that's a great thing to eat. It's supposed to be kind of be a little better with your nutrition. Okay, so look, while this is cooked, this is almost done. This has about a minute and a half left, and I already have some more. Ooh, sorry. This is about ready to go. Also, what you can do, if you don't wanna wait like this, you can get one of those wire, those, cookie, those cooling racks, you know? And you can get your chicken and set, just get a sheet pan, set the wire rack on top, and just let your chicken sit there. And that will actually make the breading stick better to the chicken, too. Okay, Somebody so asked what kind. It is a Breville. It's a Breville. I haven't had this thing for probably, what, seven years? For all of Wes's uh, birthday, Christmas, everything, my whole family goes in and we do um, mm -hmm. gift cards to kitchen type places. So that's, mm -hmm. that's what he likes more than anything. Okay. Hi, Can you check on that, buddy? Shake that around the table. Oh my word, look at that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Leave it in there. About 15 more seconds, okay? You're ready. That's okay. Yeah. And depending on how thinly you slice the chicken, it could be done in two minutes, two and a half. I typically don't let it go beyond three because then it gets like rubber. If you, if so you any difference right. if it were in the skillet? Uh, no, just, just make sure you, you're always watching your oil. Once you cook some chicken, you need to put the lid back on the pan and let it come back up to temperature, okay? You can get a candy thermometer for 15, 20 bucks, uh, but you can just you clip to the side of that and you can keep a consistent temperature. You wanna keep it again around 330 degrees. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, Cardin, shake that and then pour it out. I have just a large sheet pan lined Huge with foil. Huge sheet pan. And this is, this is like a massive paper towel, okay? Good job, and So buddy. that will absorb now, can you, the... Can you count up, get, get the black tongs? And move that around. What kind of oil? Uh, whatever, whatever you want to use. Uh, peanut oil is my favorite. Uh, actually, I only had vegetable oil, so I did vegetable. Uh, grapeseed oil is great, but grapeseed oil is pretty expensive. I would not do grapeseed oil with this. That's good. Okay. Now, if you're, let me wash my hands. I'm going to show you something. If you're not sure if the chicken is done, I'm almost done washing. Hold on. <laughs> What you doing there, Miss Eddie? <clears throat> if you're not sure the chicken is done, here, buddy, let me see. I get this called the, the bend test. I come over here in the thickest part of the chicken, and I bend it in half. Look at that. That's perfect. Does anyone want to try that? Tell me, does, does it need any more salt? Can I try that one? Yeah. Oh wait! Don't reach over the grease. Just don't burn your don't burn your mouth. Okay, so look. I have my, my oil is already. Has already preheated, so I'm gonna put some more in here. In just a minute, I'm gonna start the couscous while the boys finish the chicken, okay? Are y'all enjoying this? Is this boring? Is this Pardon. interesting? If it's boring, don't tell me. And also, don't tell if the videographer is awful. We need more live videos well, from you, Wes. Mark, Mark Lowry and I were talking. He's gonna send me a little device where I can use an actual video camera. Uh, but uh, but Amazon kind of shut down. I can't get one of those right now. So, if you send it, Mark, I'll do it. Shut down to non medical and like emergency Correct. stuff. Yes, which we should be. Yes. Okay. So, okay, Carter, can you look at the pantry and get me? There's another can of pan going there. Okay. They are loving it, babe. Okay, good. 
Good. They said so. How many do, do we have more than like five? There are more than five, at there's least five. seven. There's 229. There's at least, there's at least seven. I do not yeah. know where the paper Well, this is, is great. This will be on YouTube forever. Uh, so if you just want to watch and not do it now. Christine great. said I'm doing a great job. Thank you, Christine. Such an encourager. Christine, <laughs> who? Is that? Christine Cook. I cannot find the paper. Okay, Carden, lower it again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do this right here. I'm going to set this to two and a half minutes. Okay, go. Beautiful. Okay, here we go again. Do more of these, okay. please. Um, Isaiah, he okay. used the entire thing of Panko mm -hmm. and is yeah. going to actually open um, another one. Yeah, this, this is, is the off this, brand. This is, off, this is a Walmart this brand. This is Walmart brand. I typically buy, I think, a 12 to 16 ounce. This is all they had. Okay, so I have two eight ounces. I use about half of this. What happens with the panko, if you get down to where you're getting uh, low on panko, it doesn't stick as well because it's absorbed the moist, too much moisture. So I just do about a half, half more of a can. Karen okay. McBride wants to know if this is in the cookbook. Yes, um, it, is. it is. Karen. <laughs> it is, it is. It's okay. All right, what I want you to do, Alexa, set timer for one minute. Is it in the original cookbook? Um, I kind of don't, I, I don't, don't know. know. Brenda Higdon is commenting on my now, skills also. Thank you, Brenda. My, my current cookbook has this in here. I put the first cookbook in my second one in the back. I condensed it and put it in the back. Mm -hmm. So, look, I'm really about done. I uh, probably should have got more chicken, actually, for the family. I might be doing a protein shake while the boys eat. <laughs> okay. They don't have to eat very much, do you, boys? That's, you know, you know that is a lie. That's a lie. You know that's a lie. This <laughs> item was so clean before we started. Now it's just. Thank like, you, David John. He said I should be the homecoming videographer. <laughs> What's the name of the cookbook? Okay, Marina, you ready? What Recipes. is? Recipes. Recipes. It's on Wes's website. Uh, if if you're needing it. Yeah. Okay. I think I've got all the chicken out here. Yes, Fran, it line. is supper right, tonight. No, put it, put it back in, put it back in. Let it go for another 30 seconds. Alexa's talking to us. Alexa, Alexa. stop. Alexa, stop. Heidi, I am. I'm 18 months older, two school grades older than Wes. Let me see. No, see how it's not quite round? Do another 20 seconds. Does that season well? Again. You can always. I taste a little bit of oil. Oh my! He's probably the most. Okay, take up. Whatever of the kids. Psycho Wes, don't say that. Okay, here we go again. All right, put the basket right here. Excellent. I'll put the last of chicken. Okay, now. Once I do this, I'm gonna get the cuckoo started. Hudson, go the, ahead turn and, the and, heat. and another skillet, um, a big saucepan, whatever. Go ahead and get your heat set to medium, okay? We're gonna get the couscous going right now. Do I have a favorite dish? Really, I am a huge pasta fan. So anytime he makes anything, um, he makes homemade pasta a lot. Um, so I like anything pasta-wise. I don't like anything with rice. I really just like carbs in general. Carbs are good, aren't they? But they're not our friend. And I wish they were. Why can't? So why can't why can't a Krispy Kreme donut just be what God intended for us to Are you the boss in the family? Marilyn Tomlin? <laughs> I'm not, am I boy? Marilyn, I think you know the answer to that question. Oh, yeah. You're the one Ooh, somebody had ravioli tonight. Yum. I baked mine. How how long do you think it will need to bake? Ravioli? No, this chicken. Oh. Uh, again, it depends on how thick it is. If you have a 350 oven, I would I'm probably good. check after 12 to 15 minutes. You don't overcook it. You can always do you have to turn more. it? Flip it? Uh, if you cook it on a wire rack, no, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to. But you certainly can't. Okay, there's no more chicken in there. This is garbage now. I'm putting all my roast up. What are you laughing at? 
I'm going to wash my hands again. Card, has that come up to temperature yet, buddy? Oh, wait. Does it say 300? Is it? What if I drop this in there? It's 330. 330. Okay. 230 and 330. Should I put butter in? I'm still washing You're my sorry. hands. Okay, sorry. Hudson. You see that stick of butter over there? Ooh, uh, let's, stick let's of butter. Let's follow Hudson. Hudson's going to help. Okay. Okay. Hudson, unpeel that. Yeah, unwrap that. <clears throat> Who cooks more? Andrea, yeah. you or Wes? What do y'all say, boys? You. Stop. I only cook when Wes isn't here, which actually is a lot of the time, but it I don't is. I don't do things like this. I do I do easy like, like this, what you would make in college. Put that in half. Do you have a knife? I do not. Okay. Knife? Butter. Put that in half. Now listen, I'm gonna make a lot, so I'm gonna use a half stick of butter, okay? You can do olive oil. You can do uh, you know a tablespoon, but the boys really like this like that, so I'm gonna put that in there. Thank you. That's unsalted butter. So what I'm going to do, get my little teaspoon out. Salt? You got to salt it, okay? But I'm just going to do about a half a teaspoon, okay? You can always salt later. You want to over salt it. This is something that I love. You can get it anywhere, okay? It's super high. They've it's, got chicken and beef and don't they have yeah, different flavors? Chicken, beef, pork, vegetable. They could have seafood. So <gasps> from London. Hello from London. We London's love my favorite city. Why unsalted butter? So you can control the salt. So you can control the salt. Is couscous pasta technically? Yeah. Um, it is. It is okay. pasta. Yeah. It's made from. Uh, you see right here. Well, you probably can't see that. Uh, but the ingredients are wheat flour. So it's semolina flour, just like what's in pasta. Okay. okay? And it's. Crazy so, good. I didn't have much left in there, but I'll put some really hot water. We have an instant hot water. So, that's just flavor. That's just bouillon, okay? You don't have to do that. You can use chicken stock. Doesn't matter, okay? Hey, buddy, can you throw that away for me, please? Hello from Brazil. Uh, Alexia. Okay, okay, you see that? Look how, look how is. Now, I can't ever remember. You do one and a half cups of liquid to one cup of couscous. So I like to toast the couscous a little bit, but because of, because of time, so that you're not waiting forever, I'm just gonna go ahead, one. 16, David. Two, three, because these boys eat a lot. Okay, okay so one. three cups of couscous. Three cups of couscous. That makes four, four and a half cups of water, correct? I didn't. One, I two, wouldn't three, listen. Yeah, one and a half cups of water. That's per, our math for the day. We are a homeschooling family. However, we're on spring break Does this look, week. Good, Carney. Awesome. I right, shake it really quick. Hang it. Hang it on that thing. Just let it go. I'm getting hot water right now from our hot water heater. Oh, are we? Am I supposed to show him that? Oh, you can. We installed this when we did the house because my aunt and uncle have it. Shout out to Uncle Danny and Aunt Nancy. Yeah. That's cloudy because uh, I had a little milk from earlier in there. But we love having that instant hot water. So look, this is four cups. Oh, he's coming around me. Right, yeah, start but Yeah, start all around. Get, get it covered. Yeah. And typically about time, I'll really toast this couscous, okay? Good job, Carden. Good job. Thank you. So toast it before you add the water is what you're saying? Uh-huh. All right, look at this chicken. I just try a little bite. I think it needs a little more salt. So you want to salt it while it's still hot, okay? The salt will stick to it better, okay? This will stay uh, fairly hot for a while. If you want to make this ahead of time, heat your oven about 200 degrees, 150 even, and then put it in the oven on a sheet pan like this and you're good to go, okay? So now, we're done with this. Great. Okay, now we're pour are you pouring water? Ooh. All of it at once? Yes, all of it at once. Let me get another half cup. Okay. Hudson, way to go, son. Yeah, I'm just a pro at stirring. This will cook about 12 minutes. Once it comes to a boil, Put the top on. Good job, Hudson. I didn't put a lot of bouillon in there, so I'm gonna do another teaspoon of kosher salt. One teaspoon of kosher salt, 
is almost like a half teaspoon of table salt, okay? Because it's so much more coarse. Alexa, set timer for 12 minutes. That's hilarious, Coach Parker. Um, he is Figure doing it wonderfully. Let down a little bit. He's um, very cautious when he drives, and so it, it's been a very smooth transition, although he's only had his license for a month. <clears throat> it was a month today. And yeah, just a month. He hasn't been able to drive long. We've been in quarantine for two weeks. And before that, Wes and I were out of town a ton, so he didn't drive much then. So, um, let's see. Somebody asked, asked some. Do any of the boys play? Yes, the boys all play um, piano. Um, they play a little guitar, a little drums. And none of them have chosen to take up singing. Um, least. Lisa wants to know how you dispose of old oil. Um, I will, I will keep this. This is a fresh thing of oil. I use this probably five or six times. We filter it. Yeah, filter it. I get a little, this little, you know, the coffee, coffee filters that are the metal mesh. Do we have I one? I get one of those with a funnel. Let me. Try. I, uh, one I put back in there. Oh, here it is, right here. So we put. I use this. Okay. This over in a funnel. In this funnel. On top of the oil. And then I get the oil container once the oil's and completely so cool. So I'll hold this and he pours the oil yeah. into this. And it would filter out any kind of, you know, bread, whatever. It filters it out. And so we might use it, what, three three times? Or? Oh, no, I'll use it five or six times. Oh, five or six, yeah. he says. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, I think. Okay, that's really going. How long is that supposed to cook? Uh, 12 ish minutes. Once 12 minutes have gone by, you'll see it'll get much, much thicker. And get, get a little spoon out and try it. And you'll, you'll be able to tell if it's too, if, um, if it's not tender enough, you'll know just like cooking up another couple of minutes. If the liquid gets too low, I add a little milk to it because they like it creamy, okay? At the end, I'll probably put another tablespoon or two of butter. Uh, it's, it's not healthy, but it's really, really good. Shirley said every time we talk to our timer girl, hers, Thanks, we're talking to her. That's funny. I get kind of verbally abusive to Alexis. Sometimes. He does. He can be very ugly to her. Oh, well, babe, did she hear you? I just there, there. There's times where she just doesn't. She just doesn't get it. Which of the boys do y'all like better? It depends on the day. Me. Depends on the day. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Karen, for your encouragement. Okay, I'm getting this thing out of the way. Cause it's dirty. I'm getting the hot oil out of the way. This, Brian, is Wes's hobby. This is what he does to relieve stress, to be creative. Yes. Now, guys, you know, no one, this is all, this is all gross. I'll, this is all contaminated. I'll lick it off so you. don't, yeah, don't, don't lick okay. this part of this. Over here. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, how, how many people have not had couscous? Who has, uh, what kind of vegetables can you make with this? Oh, anything. I, I love to roast cauliflower. I love roasting cauliflower. Uh, the boys all eat steamed broccoli. So we'll steam broccoli. Andrea is not crazy about just plain broccoli, so we'll get a piece of Velveeta or something. 2% craft. 2% craft, there you go. Um, um, cauliflower? Yeah, roasted cauliflower, steamed broccoli. Uh, I love all types of that. I just I did turnips two nights ago. You, you just um, get a little oil in a pan, cut up the turnips, let them cook in that just a little bit, add some water, some salt, and that's it. So, so good. We love squash. We love squash. So, we're, well, I'm, I'm a really big vegetable eater. So, like, see how, see how this is getting thick? That's really thickened up already. Because it's releasing all that starch into the water. Oh, we have a little rogue. Look at that. He's a, he's a burnt little fella. He's going to go over mm, there. Yeah. He's not alive anymore. No, he's, he got kind of burnt to a crisp. So now, look how much cleaner it looks. Any more questions? Any, okay, any? Have y'all met Chip and Joanna? No, I, no. Norma, I call them my best friends. And anytime we go in Target and go in their little section of, of Target, the boys say, Mom, here's oh. your best friends. Oh, but no, we have not not met them. No, we have not. Um, God. Uh, any questions about the vocal band or? Yeah, your funniest moment with vocal band. Oh gosh. 
Uh, I remember Marsh a couple of nights when they would introduce the vocal band. That's when they the stage was in the round. So we would all run up on stage in the middle of everyone. I remember a couple of times Marsh fell almost on his face, mm. just tripped and just bam. And he just got up and kept singing. Thought, oh gosh, I hope that never happens. It has not happened yet. Knock on, yeah, knock on stuff. Um, Mark Lowry, is Mark still there? Mark might have signed off now. I don't um, Mark threw up in my car. Somebody just about, said that. About 10 years ago. That, that was, that was. Um, Favorite after, vocal well, band song? When it happened, it was not funny. No, you, he called me after. But, but after we, we had time to think about it, it was, it was pretty funny. Uh, favorite was. song to sing? Um, it just depends on the day or the week I'm having in the month. Um, Gaither's song, Sinner Saved by Grace, um, he'll call Mount Calvary, um, Jesus or something about that name, obviously because he lives. Um, this is not a Gaither song, we sing it uh, sometimes as little as much. I love that one. Um, there's, there's so many great songs, so many great songs. <clears throat> what else, any more questions? Um, uh, prefer to sing or cook? Oof. Um, I love them, but okay. When I'm home, I love to cook. When I'm out, I love to sing. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, singing is um, it's very rewarding because I get to hear so many stories of what the music means to people, and that's that's the best part of what I do. It really is. So. Do you enjoy um, the cameo video thing? Yeah, I, I love do. the I, one you did for me. He they said she oh, said. Who, who is that? Norma S S. Oh yeah, yes, yes, I remember. Um, yeah, I don't do a lot of those. I, I don't get many requests to do that, but uh, when I do get them, I love to do them. Especially now when I'm doing concerts, <laughs> little little tiny bit of cameo money is, is nice. I mean, concerts are scarce. Do you have? Do you guys have worship before singing? Uh, we always pray before we sing. At Family Fest, do I have a worship time backstage before each, mm -hmm, um, cool. what do you call that, session maybe? Yeah. Not session, but before each concert. Yeah. Service. Before each service, that's better. Uh, but typically on the road, no, we would not have a worship time before we go out. And usually, uh, Bill's already on stage by know, the Bill's time the four of you start praying. A lot of times, he'll, he always prays after we do sound check, so that's kind of our prayer time. And then, obviously, before the vocal band comes on, Bill's already out. So the guys uh, in this particular group, uh, how much time? About four minutes. Uh, we, we always pray before we go out to sing, for sure, for sure. Um, you know, we have we go through the same stuff everyone else does. So we have um, times where we lift one, we lift one another up when someone is struggling and having you know family problems or you know just whatever whatever it is. You know, we, we're, we're brothers, so. People no. saying come back to England. Um, a oh. couple of people saying they hate the concerts canceled for April, but they understand. But I, from what I hear, most of those are being rescheduled. Uh, so, not. Yes. Now, we have not heard anything about the Sanford one being rescheduled, though, have we? No, it is my hometown. Yeah, so we'll. Really? We'll, we'll see. Um, does he prank your dad? You know, at this point, it's usually my kids that are pranking my dad at this point or videoing him while he's asleep. Or yeah, I haven't scared Mark in a while. You haven't for a while. And part of me doesn't want to do it because I don't want him to have a heart attack. And then, I'm, then he would never let me forget that. <laughs> he might not even be able to let you forget that. <laughs> I, do, I do feel slightly guilty about it, uh, but it's... It's so fun. I hear him. He's he's a great reactor. So, for any of you who know, he's, who have, he can be very skittish. Yes, quite funny. See, I'm I'm got my Clorox wipes. I know I could probably get a lot of money for these. Yes. Well, I probably could. You can't find them anywhere. But look, I'm just sterilizing. I'm not sterilizing, but sanitizing this this top. I, I find it hard just to stand here and not do anything. Any more questions about uh, what, anything about Bill or about... Teresa Height says, I'm watching this on my phone and having choir rehearsal on Facebook Live from our living room. Our music minister and praise team are at church broadcasting. That's great. That is multitasking, Teresa. It is. My new rescue dog awesome. is from Alabama. Uh, well, what, that, kind of, oh, what kind of dog is it? Hold on, I just got out of the app. 
This is not my specialty. Sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> I'm on uh, study, well, I'm not. I wasn't out of the app. I just couldn't see it. Do you prank the other guys? At, oh, Marilyn. Uh, do you prank the other guys? Not a whole lot. No, this we group. Don't. Uh, I remember Jimmy. When, um, yeah, oh, you I, do scared, the bus I driver. Jimmy, bus driver. I, I like to scare him. He's, he's a little skittish. skittish too. Yeah. He doesn't like horror movies. Uh, so he's 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 really fun to scare. Uh, Todd is fun to scare. Um, I remember when Dave was in the group, Dave would scare me a lot. Um, I remember, though, I could get in his bunk, uh, the benefit of being smaller, I could get in his bunk at night and curl up in a ball at the foot of his bed with the curtains drawn, and then he would come oh, in. Oh, that's and would, awful. Know, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Cole says, please do this again. Norma says, do you have any more concerts with Jack and Charlotte planned? Yeah, we, we have one, I think, in Bless August. You. Bless you. you I think we have it in know. August, so God willing, we, we will do that. Um, and Greg Ritchie is the one that's kind of lining those up. And I think he has more on the horizon, just depending on, you know, where all this goes in the next several weeks. So. Did Wes get to know Vestal? He did not. No, she passed. I never, I never got to. Well, what year did she pass? Uh, she, Mark well, was saying she, it the other day. She passed, I think, just a couple of years before I joined. Maybe 2001? So, uh, and Wes joined like, in 2005? Maybe. maybe so. Wes, I mean, Mark told us the other day. Yeah, but no, we did not get to officially meet her, just as fans meet her. Yeah. Um, okay, this couscous is almost done, I think. Oh, somebody say in February, uh, Raya said in February 2004. 2004, more say in 2004. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, so just yeah, was, right was, before. I was fairly close. Fairly close. Okay. My hands are all Clorox now. All right, let's see. How, okay, look, look how thick this is now. Mm. Oh, so good. All right, look, you see how it's, it's pretty dry? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the heat down. I had the heat just a little too high, but it's no problem. What we'll do now... I bet it has about two more minutes. Oh, Alexa, it's, oh, it's done. Stop timer. I'm gonna pour the rest of this milk in here, okay? Because it still needs a little more cooking time. Lily it is amazing. What what is amazing? Some, Lily said it looks amazing. Oh, it's it's so good. And you can do, I mean you can add garlic powder to this. You can even Is add, it anything like Orzo? Uh yeah. I'd I'd say it's similar to Orzo. Orzo to me is it's always been more of a uh, Cold, like an orzo salad. It's getting foggy. Um, how's it fogged up? Let's see a lot. See, I put that milk in there and that butter just makes it, oh, so smooth. But you can put, if you have some raw chicken cut up in little pieces, and the last seven, eight minutes, if you have really small cubes, you could put this in the couscous and let it cook in mm -hmm. there. And it all cooks together, okay? So, this is really close. The big thing before you serve, just make sure you taste for seasoning. A lot of people don't, a lot of restaurants don't season their food well. And I've always, I was talking to somebody that, oh, maybe, I think it was Marilyn, uh, about, um, I like to serve food that doesn't need anything added to it. I like to, so for that panko chicken, I want to eat it and I have to add salt to it. This, not any salt to it. Um, Carden, should we, should you try just a little of this mm -hmm. to see? I don't want you, you know what, let me, I don't want you to burn your mouth. Oh, uh, okay. <gasps> I don't want you oh. to burn your mouth, oh, so he ate the bite. <clears throat> okay, it's not ready. Oh. Ooh, ooh. It needs a little more salt. Hudson, can you get my cup out of there, please? My measuring cup, oh, right there, on the, yeah. Fill it up with about a half a cup of water from the hot, hot, water. hot water tap. I'm gonna add another half Using a teaspoon. Using hot water again. Okay, look, I added about three-fourths more of a teaspoon, okay? Half a cup. Buddy, go ahead, pour it in there. And I'm gonna turn this up. This literally has two more minutes, and it'll be perfect. You can add onion powder to this. Um, really, any, you can add vegetables to this. Mm. Uh, because, <laughs> because we have four boys, I, I tend to keep it like this. It's um, almost, to me, it's almost like having macaroni and cheese as a side. It's just a real it's very uh, comfort. It is. Mm -hmm. Look at Okay, I think this is a little bit of pepper. I dare you to stick your nose in there and sniff. We have, this is my spice drawer. You can show it, I don't care. It's um, not real tight. But there's a lot of loose spice. Well, I don't think it's bad. It needs to be alphabetized, I think. I need to do that. Freddy's. I've got all my little 
on little things. Make sure you always check expiration dates on spices because they do expire. So you can ask my so mom instance, about if, that. If that cumin, yeah. Andrea's mom. I think she had something. Was it like twenty years expired? Uh, babe, you might not should be saying that. <laughs> um, but when they expire, they lose their flavor. So I could put this whole thing of cumin in here if it's expired, and you really wouldn't taste it. Okay. We got our Freddy's. Yeah, that's steak burger fry seasoning, which is always great. Okay. Freddy's is like a steak and shake in a sense. Hudson, I need another half a cup of water, please. Half a cup. Thank you. Okay. Uh, um, you can also, if, if you don't care about calories and you're trying to be really indulgent, you can add half and half to this. You Ooh. can even finish it with some cream, okay? But I did not put, there's probably maybe a half a cup of 2% milk in this. Um, four tablespoons of butter, which to, for all this is not a ton, so it's not horrible. And again, you can omit the butter, you can do a few tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, you might you could even do coconut oil, depending on what you get. Some coconut oil is really strong, has a very coconutty flavor, and you might not want that. So, I'm going to let this cook for another minute, and then we'll be ready. Um, okay, Hudson, no. can you get the chicken out of the oven, please? Nicole said the chicken baked for about 20 to 25 minutes at 350 and it smells amazing. Okay, so have you, Nicole, have you? Have I think you, she hasn't tried it yet. You haven't tried it? I'm going to check and make sure it doesn't overcook. The red thing, the red thing. Um, so, you got that? You don't want to burn your hands. This red thing, so it's my, my little helpers. Okay. Watch them. Well, y'all, we're about to sign off. I, I think I might do those cookies at some point soon. Friday. Kevin Williams will be with me. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to do something like this to where Kevin and I will be together. I think it's going to be on Facebook Live, I think, because that's the only way we can do it together. So we should? I think. No, just uh, uh, online. Uh, no, we're social distancing. Yeah, we are. Uh, we are. So. All right, any more questions? All right, who, uh, who, who all is doing this right now? Can you just kind of say Okay, has know? anybody actually made this with us? And by us, I mean Wes. Is that coconut milk? No, it was regular milk. It was regular milk. No uh, herbs, David. Miss <laughs> Marilyn wants to know if you had oh, cheese. You, you can put herbs in it. You, what would be really great? Uh, some fresh torn basil in this at the very end. You don't want to put it at the beginning. Any kind of fresh herbs you cook with, add them at the end, like the last 30 seconds. Because if not, you won't taste it. Raya good. said she did it the way you said, and it's awesome, all caps. Okay, good. Great. Just Marilyn. make sure, just taste it for seasoning is the big thing. If you don't have enough salt, it's not going to taste good. Is Salt couscous is gluten free, Bonnie asks. It is not. Bonnie, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. It is wheat. It is totally made from wheat. Um, I was saying something. Oh, if you don't want to put milk in here, uh, plain oat milk. You, has anyone tried oat milk? It is wonderful. Very good. How um, much chicken broth would you add to the couscous? Um, on the package, it says for one cup of couscous, a cup and a half of liquid. Um, I will. I will do that, but then I'll add another cup of liquid. Does that make sense? So if I do two cups of couscous, I'll do the three cups of liquid it says, and then I'll add almost you know three fourths, uh, half a cup more liquid, just because I feel like it's not quite enough liquid for that. Miss Marilyn wanted to know if you could add cheese. cheese. Okay, look, this is ready. This is ready. Look at this. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Hey Bart. Is that Bart Clayton? Yes. Hey Bart. I love you. I miss you. Absolutely, Norma. She has a friend exposed to the Hello. virus. Asked for Who us to Norma pray. Does? Yeah, we oh, asked us to gosh. pray. Lisa Reese says she has a ton of flat leaf parsley in her veggie garden if you want some. Oh, Lisa and Jeff have given me bunches of fresh basil. Oh, Can't wait to see them. Uh... I'm not sure why I actually Lisa gets some of that parsley. Okay, so this is right. Look at this. See how it kind of goes back? It's kind of like uh, risotto. When you cook risotto right, you do this, and it slowly pulls back together. That's done, okay? Um, I hate when you serve this, bless, bless you. you. Um, if it starts getting too thick, just add like a quarter cup more water or a quarter cup of warm milk to it. It'll loosen it right back up, okay? You might need to adjust seasoning depending on um, how much you put in there. But I think, I think we're good to go. So this is it, y'all. Here's our chicken. Chicken with and couscous. couscous. So, um, also, make sure again, I said at the beginning, if you subscribe, subscribe to this channel, we will randomly pick random subscribers that, that subscribe tonight, 
and I'm going to send out several CDs. So if you're chosen, we'll contact you, send us your address, and then we will send you my new hymns CD. And then, then we'll be back Friday? You'll be back? Yes. I'm not sure what time, but it will be with Kevin. We'll post it. Um, yes. Thanks for watching and yes. putting up with us and our How new... How long do we go? Is that about 30 it, No, it's a full hour. Hour. Oh, my Sorry goodness. about that. Okay. But that's how long it took to but, do hey, all these things. when I made this, uh, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes is what it takes. Because he can uh, do multiple things at once easier. Yeah. Hey, thank okay, you so much. Okay, thank, thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> I said bye. Miss Marilyn, would ask...